Education. I will start this chapter from Robert Kiyosaki, the son of two fathers, the liar and a product of a butt sex. He is a really popular book writer, one of those shitty books on the how to become rich topic. I read like 20 something of them and they have absolutely nothing inside. Some people recommend Kiyosaki to me. Later I figured out that this people who recommended this book only look successful, in reality they work for peanuts. They kept repeating to me, just read this book, it is amazing. On goodreads.com 5 star reviews. His books are selling like iPhones, he shows how he made fortune from nothing. I read some of his books, they are shit by the way. 26 books, some of them bestsellers. The first book you can get on economics will have 100x of information all of his books have combined together. The main principle of his book, don't be stupid, invest in real estate. And he keeps repeating, education is irrelevant. Education is for slaves. You do not need education. School makes slaves. Really? Slaves? Huh. I started my research just to figure out where he got his money from in the first place. Yeah, Maritime Academy, Merchant Marine Officer, Oil Tankers. Okay this is how he made his first money. Oh yeah. Later he got his MBA, Master of Business Administration, degree and started selling his hypocritic bullcrap to ignorant masses. And he lied about his investment success as well. Just look at him, he looks like a typical priest. He has financial support classes. First class, free. Second class, $495. Third class, 45000 yes 45 k Internet is full of cold-minded articles debunking him, but people still believe him. And he is not the only guy, there are many people who can make you rich. Look at those people who go to their shows, they are ignorant and have no critical thinking capacity whatsoever. Those business trainers are Cherokee hair tampons for believers. Look at them, same sheeple go to those religious business entrepreneur shows, year after year. They are wearing all of those cheap business suits and iPhones and consider themselves as not the slaves. One of them said how much he makes on his homeopathic herb selling pyramid, I was laughing with tears. I said how much I make as a technician, he did not believe me and said you're right. I asked him about believing in Jesus. He proudly said, yes. I believe in one and only Lord Jesus Christ. Now it makes sense, these are the same people who believe in miraculous business trainers and other lies, they are a sect of voluntary slaves. Education works. If it does not work, it is a crappy education. Since childhood I have heard those tales about people without education getting rich. I've heard so much of those stories, so I started to believe them. There are people like this, but they are exceptions. Some of them could not study because they worked all the time, and they told others, do not look at me, if I were you, I would get in uni right now, I did not have this opportunity. People who got successful without an education are telling you that education works and send their kids to school and uni. You know why? Education works. Education works. It worked for me and all of my classmates, and it works for you. When I was in college some students said, you do not need this subject in real life. I believed him, but later I figured out that it was quite important in my profession and now I must study it from books. Why did I listen to stupid fellow students? Later I heard the same thing in uni and I closed his mouth by saying, How do you know that, you must be a very smart boy. We never know what part of knowledge we will need. Knowledge is power. Education works. You will say about people who have education, but do not have a job. Now think about what education they got. Is it technical education? Probably not. Is it another elevator operator profession? What is the country uni it is from? How well accepted is it worldwide? Something tells me that you will find an answer. Education works. My mommy and aunt have the same education, masters in electrical engineering. From normal uni and good teachers, so why do they suffer miserably? I was thinking about it for many years and could not figure it out. Years later, my aunt criticized one of the best technical universities in the world. All graduates of it are working worldwide with huge salaries. 
she kept promoting her half descent uni. I asked Ohm's Law please. She failed. The first question. It is not even uni. It is primary school. My mom failed too. Masters. Good grades. At least she was honest enough to admit that uni her sister was criticizing was really one of the best. She did not apply because she was scared that she will not make it. Okay, they are old people, they raised kids and they did not work in engineering for tens of years. Actually my aunt did not work in engineering at all, my mom worked with computers for a couple of years and then she pulled me out. They failed because they stayed in a small and poor country with no industry, and did not use their degree as intended. Also my aunt is an orthodox Christian, so she suffered even more. If you ask them about education, they will say, education works. Study for real, work as an alibi. Be good at what you do and trick them as you are working harder than you actually do. Trick everyone, be patient, it takes time to figure out who is who. Later you will figure out that you are not the only one. They only can catch you if they did the same thing, otherwise they simply will not get it. Some of your bosses did the same, this is how they become bosses. One of the old managers said to me, I know who you are, you remind me of myself, you read books instead of doing your job and almost nobody noticed. I said, fair enough, so you will fire me, haha I will find a job in 5 minutes by scrolling Gmail. He, haha, I can give job in Dubai, but you have a different plan so stay as long as you need. If you can't read, listen to audiobooks or music during your work, look for different jobs. If you are caught, play a victim of family, mental breakdowns, just figure it out yourself. Do not show off. Save money. Invest in education, formal will do, avoid scammers. Take the highest position you can get, apply for as many jobs as you can and choose after. If caught, play victim, next job, till find a sweet spot to study. If you will not study, you will fail. Read no-no books, the no-no books sometimes have the best stuff in. Remember. Study for real, work as alibi. Books or slave for life. Manual labor does not produce money. Study or work for peanuts. Friends or uni desk. You will find real friends if you stay the course. If you are not getting it, here is a big change of becoming another politician blaming slave. What other choice do you really have? Don't blame parents and do not worship them. Parents are made to love them from a distance. Never hate money or people for having money. Get car and truck licenses. Never listen to people who say that they do not need a car, they are just stupid, as you will figure out if you listen to my advice. Move to a big city in a first world country. There will be lots and lots of people around you who will say that big cities are crap do not listen to them. It will not be easy at first, but you will figure it out. Survive for three years in a big city, you will never go back. Listen to advice from locals, sometimes they show how to cut the corners. There will be nostalgic cries all the way, do not listen to them. Why are they in the big city? Use public libraries, they are your new home. Try to find private libraries, they have filter fees, you will be able to afford them. It is not possible to participate in hard physical labor and study, it's a lie I believed for too many years. If you have parents who can afford to pay for your studies and expenses it is stupid to not use this opportunity, but keep your distance. Find a uni at least in a different city, better country. Uni is one of the best times in life, if not the best. Oh, you will remember it when money will be no issue to you. Now it's now, it's always now, it's life, it's always like that, you will never grow up, just grow old, so live now, there are no goals, just explore, just study. Family ideology is a lie. Honey I'm Home is just a movie plot. Love exists, but it is sometimes evil. Never marry, if the partner says, marry me or goodbye? Goodbye is a right answer, after a couple of years you will laugh about it if you read proper books it will happen much faster. Just look at divorce statistics. Do not be stupid. Marriage is a good business, but not a wise choice. If you study psychology, you will never be lonely, this knowledge will manipulate people and will not allow others to manipulate you. 
I wish I have read this book when I was 17, it took me years and years to figure this out.